Gene, you recently test drove RIVN. How do you compare them to Tesla? It's awesome. Uh, that doesn't answer your question. I, I was really impressed. I that my uh, it was as good, better than Tesla. I would say I, feel, I just felt like it was the, the 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 finish. It was it was a pickup. I drive a pickup, so there's some bias there. But just like I just felt like the quality of the car was it was really nice. Um, the price was high. I mean, th this was kind of one of the founders' versions. The person. I suspect didn't pay what they're selling for now. I went and looked. You can get a uh, pretty much a used one with with uh, a few hundred miles on it for one hundred ten thousand dollars, something like that. It's crazy. So um, the answer to your question is, how do I com how do I compare it to Tesla? I think it's better. I think Rivian is is a. Uh, I mean that car was amazing, is amazing. But that's not that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, Tesla's a bad stock. And I really I see what they're doing ground up as more of validation that traditional autos in trouble. Uh, Rivian needs to get a car that's priced at $60,000. That's a big step down from where most of their cars are selling today. And so, yes, a great experience, but I guess if you pay enough, you're gonna get a great experience. Does, didn't change my optimism around Tesla. It did increase my optimism around Rivian. Uh, we don't own it in the fund. We're, it's one we're, we're thinking about, we're doing more work on it. But I think that's kind of the future. It's gonna be Tesla and Rivian and, and I'm not going to badmouth any of the other companies out there, but I think those are probably the two real winners in this over the next five, 10 years.